Hello, and welcome to English. Today we are working on session seven of our historical documentary. We are going to work today at completing our five sources that we want you to have done by Monday of your resource notes. And then on Monday, we'll talk about how to synthesize your materials and also later on about how to do our screencastify to present our documentary. Uh, on the second slide, which is our directions for blue slides. Uh, so today's lesson, we're going to give you time to complete your, your sources for your research notes. These are due by Monday. It's worth 25 points. For each source, you want to have a link, the notes, and a picture. We have started on page 83. You may use more than five sources in your writer's notebook if you wish. Also, we've talked about this, if you have found a source that you want to use that is not in the text that's provided, click on this red link here and we'll take you to a Google form that you can just copy and paste a link on and then we can check it out. And if we like it, we'll put it with the rest of the text sets. Uh, if you get completed today, just read your library book. We haven't had really a chance to do that. So if you get done with all five sources and you're completed, go ahead and read. As I mentioned on Monday, we'll have a lesson and a video showing you how to synthesize your research information. And later on in the week, we'll show you how to do a screencastify. The next couple of slides will just review and provide some information. Okay, again, starting on page 83, here's the three things that we need. A link. Okay, let's copy and paste it to our site. Five to ten notes and a picture for each one. This is due. Uh, on January 11th, okay? Uh, and next we'll talk about the next uh, sources for the next links for text. Um, if you click on this, this will come up here. If you have a new source that you've looked at that's not on our text list, you just write your name, click on the link, and then you'll paste, uh, you'll, you'll paste the uh, uh, link there, and then we can check it out, okay? So you can find links uh, that you would like to use. Um, just short review. Uh, just to make sure when we start presenting our research, we talked about this on Tuesday, is we are just looking for facts. We don't want opinions. We don't want anybody's bias or thoughts or feelings. So when you're going to present your information, it is strictly just facts. Also, when you we talked about on Thursday, if you uh, are reading articles or watching a video, to make sure that the information you're getting is not biased or someone's not sharing their information because you don't want to have that. We talked about this example yesterday where we were talking about a student wearing a t-shirt criticizing the principal and a person used rebellious, inflammatory, and disruption, okay? Um, you could use positive ones too, like courageous, stood up for his rights, or opinionated. But these words here, this was called connotative language, okay? Uses some adjective words that used to describe it, and they kind of slide it in. Uh, to let you know what their opinion is. Again, you don't want that. You just want the facts. Um, our grading that we've talked about on page 83, this is worth 25 points from our writer's notebook in section three. Again, that's due on Monday, our five sources. And then later on next week, we'll talk about the screencastify of the presentation that is also worth 25 points. Okay, but we'll get to that next week. I showed you this yesterday. Um, if you are missing any of your work, you can click on these uh, right here. And these links will take you right to the slides or to the assignments that you need to do. These are all our lessons that we've had all week long. And again, uh, we're looking for a source uh, for each day that we've done. Okay, um, again, your homework. Let's go ahead and work and continue our research and get at least five done. And if you're all done, you may read. Okay, again, if you have any questions, please email me. And don't be afraid to join us for Google Meets. Thank you very much. Looking forward to looking at your research over the weekend. Bye-bye.